Hello and welcome back to another video on my channel. This is, in my opinion, one of the most important videos I've done on my channel in the entire history of my channel, which you know hasn't been that long. But it's a very important video nonetheless because I'm going to be telling you guys how to make the offense that I've, I've done. In I did a 40 minute video on how to make that offense even better. I got three tips for you guys and yeah, all of them are bangers now. First off, we're going to start with how to block certain blitzes. There are a couple of blitzes that are more common than others, or in general, let's say pass protection, okay? Pass protection, we're going to go through some of the most popular blitzes in the game, which is one out of three for bear, um, one out of big diamond for six, and one out of big nickel, which is technically, technically, technically not a blitz, but I'm going to be explaining to you guys how to Pretty much roll out against big nickel over g anytime you want to and basically make the offense a lot better we're going to start talking about three four bear now the blitz that i'm going to be running is pinch buckle it's a pretty common blitz amongst uh weekend league players they a lot of people like to spam this and it's important to know how to pick it up there are a lot of variations on how to blitz against uh, is that me okay yeah on how to blitz out of 3-4 uh, bear but this is the most common wait a minute I've actually gotta gotta run this play now because I didn't set the blitz up properly um, what you want to do is you want to blitz our linebackers and that's all you can also keep it contained if you want to and then you can do with the rest of the coverage whatever you want now how to block this on offense is pretty straightforward slide the line to the side of the tight end and then you can id this guy or you cannot that is basically your choice and then everyone gets picked up now i'm going to try to get a scenario for you which wait a minute i'm gonna go to, into the replay and show you guys uh, what happened because uh if we look at yeah let's stop we're going to look at the player that's just highlighted Number 32, if we zoom, on, zoom in on him, he was manned up on the tight end, which is blocking. So he can go, he can either go into a QB spy or he can blitz. In the case where he goes into a QB spy, we'll have no problem picking the blitz up. In the case, and I'll try to recreate that here. Um, in the case that we do the perfect adjustment and he decides, decides to blitz, then we will have trouble picking the bits up because we will then have eight people rushing against them blockers and that's a disadvantage now he right now isn't going to blitz for some reason and so i'm going to send him on a blitz manually in the case that happens you just have to recognize okay he's coming and right there actually got a lot of time usually i don't get that so you got to recognize that and yeah just get rid of the ball now that's enough for uh, this blitz, let's talk about something that is a bit more common. We're going to be talking about cover 2. Cover 2 out of big nickel over 3 is really difficult to go against sometimes. But I've found that I've had a lot more success recently. We're going to, we're going to come out in deep corner. Deep corner is a route, a play that has the tight end going out on a route. If you have a play that, that you want to run and the tight end is not out on a route, then just send him on a flat or send him on a drag or whatever. I'm going to send him on a flat. And then what you want to do, if your play does not require any motion from the wide receivers, you can motion over your halfback, double team this guy, the D-tackle guy, he's highlighted, highlighted right now, and then you ID the mic on the outside guy. Now what that does is the outside rusher gets picked up and he's getting picked up 100% of the time. So it can roll out really, really easily. Now that's important uh, for this play because what people like to do is they like to uh, make a shell like this. And if you then cannot roll out, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. So I'm going to motion him over, double, double team the D tackle, ID the mic on the outside rusher, and I'm going to run this play. Now you will see that I can roll out really easily and that's the only reason why I can make that throw. Now Tom Brady has a noodle arm and he has about two throw power so he doesn't get it in. But main attraction of this is 
how easily um, you can roll outside of the pocket just by doing these two simple steps and then you have all the time in the world. Now that was a bad read by me. But you saw that I got out of the pocket really, really easily. Now, let's talk about one of the blitzes that is really, really uh, difficult to go against. We're going to go against um, Big Time Offer 6 and... I'm not going to talk about how to pick up DB Sting uh, to bust because let's just slide the line to, to the tight end side and ID the cornerback on the halfback side. That's pretty straightforward. We're going to be talking about cover to sink. In cover to sink, there is a setup in which you QB contain and then man this guy up. He needs to be in that spot right here on the running back. Now, if I run this play normally, he should get in. And I've never seen that happening, okay? Uh, I've never seen that happen actually ever. So, we're going to try this uh, same thing again. And maybe this time we will have... Really? Um, I'm confused as to why that is happening. I need to press... Let's try one more time and perfect okay so you saw how that got in really really easily now how do we defend against that um let's uh, set up his press man him up and yeah beautiful how do we go how, how do we defend it? uh or how do we attack that we do the same thing we did with the last play double team this guy and id the mic on him now you are going to see that this Blitz gets picked up really easily. Now, the post was not open because they didn't have a corner route that was dragging the deep half back. Yada, yada, yada. That doesn't matter. We got, we picked the blitz up really easily. Now, that's pretty much all for blocking. Oops. Maybe I can set up a little bit of a uh, big demo for six action. Can we block it? Can we block it? We can. Perfect. Gotta find the read. He's open, spin move, and yeah. So that's all about blocking. Let's get into the next thing, which is always have a delay fade on your tight end if he's blocking on a play. For example, this is what this is pretty much the first play of every game that I'm playing. Slant on Edelman, lacrosse on a delay fade, and then of course do my blocking setup because that's what we're going to be going again up against. Blitz, ma making sure that I have it picked up. And then what I do is I motion snap him. And yeah, do this. Blitz is blocked. That is perfect. And voice crack. And then I'm going to send my Titan out on the delay fit. That's just by pressing X. If I do that, you you, you see how he goes out on a route. Uh, which I then can throw if nothing else is open. So that's just the whole setup once again making sure that i'm not blocking down just like that and i'm going to press a x right here and i'm i would have thrown it but they are just chatting me okay that is a, another tip for example you can also do this on deep corner that's also something that i like to do i like to double team this guy and then try to roll out that way and if nothing is open, I'll send him out on a delay fade. Racket, get about 10 yards, 10 yards a rip. And your opponent is always going to have to look out for that. Or he's going to man it up. It can be stopped by man. But you can really annoy your opponent with that. Okay. One final thing that I would like to talk to you guys about is just in general. This is very... Sp I actually should go into Big Nickel for this. This is very, very specific to Big Nickel. Um, well, I guess not that... But I'm going to show, you, show it to you guys with Big Nickel. Okay. With respect to Big Nickel. We're going to come out in cover two. Cover two, one of the most popular plays online right now. And it's... Gun Bunch has a lot of plays that can beat cover two really easily. But this is a certain type of cover two. Let me sh show you guys how this looks. This, the play is called cover two, is actually more a cover three. If I now run this cover 2 beater, which trust me, this beats cover uh, cover 2, 
and you can see how I do my blocking scheme right here and it's not working but this gets absolutely bagged like this is not open guys okay this is not open don't throw it it's not open my final tip is against um, against big nickel always run this play always 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 run deep corner do not do not do not run uh, corner strike just because if you get caught and he's actually doing the setup where it's more of a cover three and you're running corner strike you have nothing open okay you have nothing open don't throw anything it's just a wasted down so until you understand whether he is putting that guy in an, in, a, in an outside third or not only then can you uh, start to uh, start to run the cover two beaters because until then you cannot be sure what he's running okay that's the final tip that I'm gonna give you guys so let's revisit them how to block certain blitzes or how to get out of the pocket then always send the, uh, have your tight end on a delay fade because he basically does the same thing he pass blocks just the same but you have the option of sending him out on a route and third of all please 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 don't guess at someone's coverage first plays of the game always run these plays right here that beat pretty much any coverage just to be safe he's going to jump down perfect and yeah so you see that this also beats cover two I'm very thankful for you sticking all the way up to the end of this video. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And yeah, I don't have anything else to say. Besides, go check out the 40 minute video at the end of this. It's going to be linked at the end of the video. Also, subscribe to my channel if you think that this video helped you. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Obviously, I will see you in the next video. Peace out.